Welcome back to the Duck Call Room. We're here. I had to put my plant down. <laughs> <laughs> We're all in a grand mood today. Look at that I, thing grew an I, inch I, in the <laughs> last five minutes. It grows quick. Are we still talking about the plant? Never mind. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Johnny D, it's been an interesting morning at the Honey Hole well, Superstore, huh? Well, you know, every once in a while you just got to do your own diligence in the world. And you could call the cops or you could just put somebody on Facebook blast. And it happened again. When are these people going to learn not to shoplift at the honey hole? I mean, at least do it. I mean, be smart about it. Don't just leave a blank rod that you, and the zip tie there with the reel gone. It happened again, Si. Uh-oh. It happened again. And so you know what happened? I put him up on Facebook. I asked him <laughs> if he would take the reel out of his pants and bring it back to me, that that would be awesome. And that's good for him because if he does that, Judgment Day will probably go better. Um, but while we were here, my dad just texted me. He's on his way to bring it back. He's bringing it back. Well, okay. wait, are we sure he's not on his way here? Cause I invited him to come be on the podcast so we could sit down and talk about why he's a thief. Here's the deal. That, we, we he gonna, might not be bringing the real help back. celebrate the recovery on him, but the tweets, <laughs> the, the thieves, the thieves, twin brother called. Oh, and said, that was my twin brother. Okay. I'm going to bring the reel back. Could y'all take the post down? No. I'm going to take it down. If you do, if you have admitted your mistake and bring it back, I'll take it down. I would not take it down. I would just edit the post that says this customer did return the reel, okay. so everything is good. I'll take the good. photo down. No. I'll take the photo down. You're better than me. I'm going to take the photo. That's all I'm asking. I appreciate the fact that he's going to bring it back. His, his twin brother, huh? If, well, hey, let me tell you something you right know. now. Well, you if know one of them Martin boys ever get caught up there doing that and they send their twin brother <laughs> yeah, to yeah. take it back, you have my full permission to drag them out in that parking lot and wear their tail out. Buddy. Sir, and then when you get done with them, call West Monroe PD and just let them come talk to him for yep. a second. I'm assuming he doesn't have a twin brother. You, maybe it's that big guy. That's what I was thinking. I'm thinking There's this no is like twin. me saying, I've been caught. I'm going to trim my beard up and call it my twin brother. No. And I'm, then return it and then run out of the store. That way nobody knows. No, I agree. I'm just telling you, since my boys are twins, if they try to use that lie, because they don't look nothing alike, period, in the store. So if somebody comes in there looking at them, looking like them, saying, well, I'm his twin, and I, I'd really appreciate you take that down. No, that's, that's that was him. So you just drag him out there, and you get the whooping on him. Well, I can't believe he's bringing That's why I was smiling before we started. He's bringing it back. He is allegedly. What if allegedly. old big boys are one his partner in crime? And you didn't even post nothing about him. Well, it was real confusing because he created a diversion. There was a diversion Ooh. made. Oh, mm. and it, mm-hmm. you know, it, they it, that was slick. This is two for one. They've done it before. Yeah, and somebody else, one, maybe one. us, but they they slipped up a little on this one and left evidence. And you know, I got time to look at cameras. Mm. And my mom remembered him. My mom was like, "There was something off about." what that second guy did and because he, he came in on the phone like ah, ah, real loud and then they walked out together and then they were like oh i gotta go we'll see you later and then we found a rod this morning not where that's supposed to be mm-hmm. uh-huh. and clearly with the real cut off of uh-huh. it and you know i'd rather facebook justice than the police justice mm-hmm. The police ain't going to be able to do nothing. No, they ain't going to do nothing. But but now he's bringing the reel back. Some of his friends have called us and told us his name already, about four of them. What's his first name? I ain't going to know. Just first name. He's, he is, he is, I've forgiven the man. He is making it right. Even if he's still telling a little, I don't know about his twin brother. I don't know about his brother. But I, forgiven. If, if you want to make it right, if you screw up and then you make it right, forgiven. That's where I'm at. But my dad said, I was like, should we post it? And my dad said, I don't come to work every day to make friends. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, we're posting oh, it. Yeah. So we oh, blasted it. Absolutely. Out, and that's the way. Oh, y'all did the right thing. You did the right thing by doing it. But if he brings it back, totally forgiven in my book. And, you know, it might be just because you're embarrassed and not because you're trying to do the right thing. But I got embarrassed by my dad a few times in life and it made me start doing the right thing. So, yeah, well. Well, these kids are not, they're not, I, I, I say these young people are not watching the right shows. I'm about to say, because this boy ain't no kid. Yeah, no, he's Hey, fine. before he does, though, this will live forever. Put him up on that screen. Nah. I huh? Nah. Oh, we're talking about no, I, That's all right. I'm going to screenshot this before <laughs> you take it down. That way, him, baby. that way, I got it. <laughs> well, hey. 
My dad just said we'll delete it when we get it. <laughs> yeah. See, so you ain't got it yet. Put him up there. We ain't got it. No. I just I'm want not... Cy to see this ain't a kid we're talking about. I'll show Cy, but I don't want I don't want to if he's gonna do the right thing. Well, they need to watch all the other shows. And the first one I would suggest to him is crime does not pay. Is that a television program? See, because no, here's the deal. You know up. in three days, just Hunter up, is going to text us saying, hey, do you have a picture the, of that it's guy? Just the moment. Hunter, coming in hot, buddy. Coming just in hot, Hunter. If he doesn't turn it in, Hunter, feel free. Uh, if, even if he does, Hunter. They're, Hunter, don't do it if he turns it in. There he is, Si. Okay. We'll take, ain't no kid. Yep. Yep. This, is, ain't no, this is a democracy around here, Hunter. We'll take a, a vote on what it to do it with ain't. He's got a beard. If you have a beard, by the way, I'm feeling pretty good about today, too, because some random lady looked at me today and said, you have a nice beard. And I was like, really? You know, I don't get complimented on my looks yeah. that often. Oh. I appreciate you, random lady. That old boy got him. A, he got the old. Uh, yeah, that's not a nice beard. The Willie Robertson starter pack from like 2013. A little, little plaid button up shirt, a little tight <laughs> beard. Well, like, yeah, yes, sir. Arafat. Yeah. <laughs> the Arafat look. Yeah. Anyway, that's been my morning. Also. <laughs> See, Hunter got it, though. <laughs> Hunter, don't put him out there. It's, sir, you're forgiven if you bring the real I never said time. he wasn't forgiven. But forgiveness, there's there's a difference in forgiveness and lessons learned. Right? I, I, I think he's learned it. Yeah, not yet. The other guy didn't learn it. The other guy sold the stuff, and he got his yeah. still up. Yeah. You can well, go look well, at him. He went to jail. Well, I, I would just think it's only fair that you post big boy, too. That way folks can find, they can see the game coming. You know? I didn't. I didn't get a good video. Big boy was moving. Hey, for a big boy, he clearly does cardio. Well, how did he, he was not, moving quick? As tight as y'all story is, how did he not do damage up in there? If he's I, in there moving that quick, and, you want to know that why we remembered? Yeah, because we were nervous. Oh, uh, he's he was knock moving. Stuff hey, down. bull in a china shop. Yeah, I come through there. I got to turn sideways. Everything I go around in there, I feel like I'm going. I feel to like I'm one. I'm one package yeah, off the wall of the walls. You don't want to get in. in a hurry in the honey hole. No, uh, it's, we're like <laughs> Europe. We just <laughs> yeah, put it, it all down. Yeah, yeah. You just like the East Coast. But, like it's wild. And good news, besides but besides the guys bringing back the real and hopefully going to turn his life around and stop stealing stuff. Uh, I met some people today. Okay. Marty and Kim, and they're from Mississippi. Marty is a huge fan, and I told him, you know what? This is a good story. Marty had a tumor on his kidney. They cut that sucker out. Like, he, very large yeah. incision, and he's on a trip right now. He came to the Duck Commander. He ran into me, got a really cool straw hat, um, and he is now cancer free, and so I said, "You know what? I'll give it. That's a that's good news. Amen. That's a good story. Even though they, you know, cut you open and ripped you, he said, "Oh, they sliced me. They, he called it filleted them up pretty good. Oh, hey, but that's the beauty of living in twenty twenty four. He's very own brand. We we can fillet you up and he's, get you feeling he's, better. He's talking about his surgery as a fillet. That, that yeah. that's pretty much own brand. That's, our, that's did they take Marty. his whole kidney or just the tumor? They say I they filleted them up pretty good. <laughs> It's all really really got. Got pretty good. Okay, but that's great news. Yeah, that's cool, man. Well, they evidently they got it all, and that's a good thing. Yeah, so he's good to go. So he's on a celebratory trip. That's right. All on right. average, how many shoplifters y'all get a year that you know of? I mean, do you post all of them? The last, like, two, even if it's like a the sticker. No, nah, I mean, no, nah, we give away stickers. Yeah. No, nah, I have no idea. I got you. Right, but this one was uh, smart enough not to steal a left-handed reel. There you go. The one that went to jail sent a left-hander. He's not going to make it far in life. See, I told you, like, uh, what's funny about this is this old boy cut the zip ties off the deal. Like, I had, we, when we first started Fin Commander, the folks over at Zebco wanted to do some rod and reel combos. We still actually do them. You can get them in Walmart. But that's neither here nor there. But I went and did the photos they, they asked for with it. And you left the zip ties on. And they got just plumb irate with me that I'd leave them zip ties on there. I said, well, I thought them things were were for added security. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, it is from theft. Not Once you get it, you cut the zip tie off. I was like. And the plastic. I said, well, no, man. No. That, that that just leaves. That the, just strengthened it up a little. Yeah, that means it ain't going to come undone. Hold like, on. The plastic. the plastic on the court. The pl do you right. do all leave the plastic on the court? I do on the front end because I can't ever get it off there. Do you take the plastic oh, off? Oh, yeah. It bugs me. Do you know how many people bring a rod in to get like a new eye put on and the plastic is still on? I'm like, the bar. Well, then they don't use it there? very They don't no. use it very much. Oh, no. They're nasty. <laughs> Except that court looked brand new once they finally take the plastic off, but they ain't going to. It yeah. just confuses me. Yeah. Well, you fish with it enough, oh, that plastic will eventually get a tear in it. Once it gets a tear in it, I'll, I'll do it. But, like, I couldn't, I could never bring myself to take a knife and go down 
I was always afraid I was going to cut the cord. And I know you'd go the other way, but I ain't no good at that either. I popped a mini a deer stomach cleaning them. So, I mean, that's taking a pretty light little slice going up there. So that one on the front of the, in front of the handle where I'm not grabbing it all the time, no, it stays till it comes off. I like to keep my mind sharp, but I also like to keep this beautiful physique sharp. Beautiful is the wrong word. But you know what? Every morning, I like to take supplements of the highest quality. That's why you take. That, that's why you drink AG One, and that's why I drink uh, AG One. Let me tell you how I drank my AG One this morning. Tell me how you drink I it actually, hot. I got one. No, no, no. That's oh. thumbs down, Sai. You got to mix it up cold. I even put mine in the freezer for a few seconds to get a little ice on it. Then I drink it. And hey, it's keeping me sharp. My gut health is good. I love it. I do it every day. You got to do it every day. You don't got to do it every day. You want to do it every I day. I want to do it. Because of how day. good it makes you feel. And quality for AG1 isn't just a buzzword. It's a commitment backed by expert-led scientific research, high-quality ingredients, industry-leading manufacturing, and rigorous testing. At each step of the process, AG1 goes above and beyond industry standards. That's why we know we can trust what's in every scoop of AG1 because they obsess over product quality and the standards of manufacturing partners and sustainable practices. Taking care of our health shouldn't be complicated. And people try and make it complicated. But AG1 simplifies this by covering my nutritional bases and setting me up for success in just 60 seconds. You were probably 90 seconds since you tried the freezer trick. Yeah, it was a little bit extra, a little bit well, longer. You know, but you're a little bougie and I you like it. it to be just how you like it. But it's that quick in the morning, and AG1's ingredients are heavily researched for efficacy and quality. And I love that every scoop also includes prebiotics and probiotics and digestive enzymes for this old gut support. Because who knows what I'm throwing in there this afternoon. So I need that thing to be running on all cylinders. Look, we all gave it a try. It started with Christian and Sadie. And now everybody in the office is drinking AG1. Then this place is running like a top. We feel more focused. I, I bounce back from these workouts I've been doing a little quicker. I'm feeling good. AG1 is recommended highly by us. That's why we've been partnered with AG1 for so long because they make such a high quality product that I genuinely look forward to drinking every day. So if you want to replace your multivitamin and more, start with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free AG1 travel packs with your first subscription at drinkag1.com slash duck. That's drinkag1.com slash duck. Check it out. So are you one of them people, like, as soon as you get something new, you peel the screen off of it? Oh. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. the greatest feeling in the world. <laughs> got to do it. You get a new refrigerator, just get all of that plastic off. <laughs> yeah. Dishwasher. It's the best. Have you ever put a dishwasher in and you get to pull the whole thing off? Like a giant piece of the film? Whole, the whole covering. I love no, There's nothing better than new stuff and just taking stuff off of it. And peeling the plastic off. I love it. <laughs> Good feeling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, welcome to the duck call room. Don't steal stuff. Well, me and Si went fishing the other day. I, where, you went to Katie? No. Big copper note. We went to... They went, private lake. They went poaching. Oh, hey, amen. Oh, yeah. oh, it was fine. It was ever cast. <laughs> How big are they? <laughs> oh, what he said. Really? Hey, the bongo they were bigger drum. than that drum bongo drum. Yeah, they look good. I watched a video that that Jerry put up on our fan commander stuff. Is it good? I every time. It. Oh, it's hilarious. Under, oh, it's good. That look hair. Here. That every hair. time the cork hair. went under, I thought I had about a six pound bass on. Yeah. So they're every just time. monster brim on monster. every time. And, and Willie was over there cutting limbs. He, and yeah. Them. <laughs> the good. Willie's over there in a burn pile. Oh, he's still got that bucket. He's burning stuff. Yeah. Huh? Well, I got the lawnmower stuck this morning, and I, uh -oh, and I damaged that bucket a little bit. Uh-oh. You better get him a new one. <laughs> yeah. He Good. was in here talking about his book the other day saying he needed a new burn barrel. <laughs> new burn barrel. <laughs> yeah. He really needs one now. That video's going nuts, y'all. Is it? Yeah, it's at 173,000 views in oh, hey. three you days. Know, you're talking yeah. fun to catch. Are you serious? You're joking. Uh -huh. there. Yeah, our two biggest videos on, on Finn Commander. You there know there they are, right there. Our two biggest videos yeah. on Finn Commander's YouTube, <laughs> what's hilarious about this, is yeah. now it's Cy si fishing in Willie's Pond and me fishing in Willie's Pond. Yeah. I don't know what the title is yeah. about somebody fishing in Willie's Pond, <laughs> but it gets them every time, boys. Oh, yeah. You right. got a picture of that hat? 
That hat is what made it. Yeah. The oh, yeah. hat. Si, I, I, si I took my hat. I don't yeah. know if it's the oxygen machine, the the smiles, all uh oh. Hey. I could watch this all day. I'm I mean, I, here, here's the thing. How many things I caught what about thirty? Yeah, probably. Look, I, I finally just handed the rods to Stone and said, Hey, I need a break. This he, is my favorite part of what said, Si's what like here, about? take this off, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, side all of man. Come on. <laughs> side all of man I know got a fishing caddy. Oh, there goes the fish feeder. Right, there it is, <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah. There's nothing better than being on Bill Dance's well, level. If we made a point about, you know, questions answered, you know, me and Stone back and forth. He said, well, first thing you got to do is you got to find them. And he said, how, how do we find them? And I said, well, hey, we got in on the lake and we looked around and there was big blue boxes over on the bank. <laughs> <laughs> God bless America. <laughs> That's a little one there. Oh, female. Oh, I caught one chinky pen. You look good. He was, hey, he was bigger than anything we'd caught. That chinky pen was like this. He did catch a big chinky pen. So I that, mean, a grown one. So that thing around your neck, is that your bait bucket? <laughs> no, that's my auction bucket. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. My auction. <laughs> that's what I like. That goes where I go, too. Si look like he got his crickets around his you know, neck. There's something about that court going under. It's there's fun. There's something about it. Still is fun to this yeah. day, no matter how you catch them, how many you do. But if it, things mean. Mm. Oh, this I one. thought one of them broke the line. This one's big. Yeah. You know? Boom. I Look at him. I said, you broke caddy. the line. Yeah, caddy. And yeah. Stone laughed and said, no, he ain't running on the boat. That's no. re this reminds me of duck hunting with Si. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some shares. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> si, stand up. Boom, boom. Hey, you got Hello, some Hello, well, they said, hey, we want to take some pictures. of Martin's coming out of the duck blind. He's got he's got my bag. He's got the shotgun. He's got the shell. I said, Martin, don't forget my tea jug, yeah. my cup. And my oxygen machine. Yeah, I had to take two trips <laughs> so, just to get all his So crap. Martin comes out just loaded like a beast of burden. Uh, but now I'm going to show this part just because it's making me hungry. Oh, yeah. Ooh. No, this is where. Oh, that hey, you talking about good. Look at that. Uh, now, yeah. If you show up, hey, pro tip at home. We got that. Go back. Pro tip. Go pro back. tip. If yeah. you show up at somebody's fish fry and they got whole fi fried fish and they don't have those slits no, cut no. in them. They don't know what you're doing. Trash. Yeah, they, they don't, don't know what, know what they're, they're doing. doing. Got to have them slits. You and either, and, and the slits can go down the fish, or they can go right along the backbone. But yep. you got to fillet that meat open a little bit to get a little more crunchy and get everything to the same temperature. Well, not only that, and I'm sitting here looking at that, and all I want to do is eat that fish tail. No, no, I was, I was just thinking the tails. Mm -hmm. Hey, all I did was take my fork and get in with one of them slits, flip the meat off, eat it, <laughs> throw uh, the bones away. You ate that tail, didn't you? Oh. Yeah, yeah oh, okay. what are you I'm about, about to say. Now, if you threw them fish tails no. away, me and you's no. about to fist fight. Man, my old Kay tore them up, I'm talking about. Did she? Oh. Oh, Miss K. Oh, they was good, too. Phil hmm. probably ain't whole fried a fish in a hot minute. No. I wouldn't imagine. Now, Stone said, I'm going to do something I ain't done in quite a while. And that's when he took that filet knife out and done I said, oh, okay. Yeah. One All of my right. favorite days down at Old Duck Commander before we had to move uptown was when them fiddler cats oh, would yeah. get in Phil's nets and he'd oh, bring yeah. back a bunch of them about a pound. Oh, pound them little quarter. fiddlers are good. Hey, hey, I'm hungry. He'd skin them and throw that get whole them catfish in there. Cut, cut them and <laughs> throw them in the pot. Ooh, man. I haven't ate fish in a minute. I ate the tails off every one of them. Well, you look to see how big mm. you are. I'm them are large. Yeah, well, hey. You could have filet. Oh, you could have filet them been fine. No problem. Okay. Big old brim nose. Well, it wouldn't been as good as that right there. Them things eat. The Felines wasn't been as good. I still. And I know where y'all caught those. <laughs> yeah. I, I ain't going to do that. Why not? Willie said it. You heard him say the other day. He said he used to steal people's fish so much he don't mind people stealing hey, his. Look, I ain't doing pond, it. Look, every pond on, on uh, Cypress Creek Road, empty. Same. There ain't no fish in them. <laughs> no. If the river, don't, did, if the river only, don't get look, to them. Not only did we catch them. We didn't leave no. We caught them all. No fish left behind. None. Because okay. you know, if they caught the little ones, they just turned into bait. That's it. So, hey, put him back on the hook. Yeah. Come on. Send him back out there. That's right. Throw him back out there. Or go put him on a trot line across or the street. Or put him on a trot line. One of those two. Call it good. Oh, man. We should have a fish fry every day. I almost died running that trot line across that river one night, one day. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> there was about an 80 pound blue on that sucker. Mm. And I tried like an idiot. To get him in the boat by myself, mm. and he come off that hook. When he did that hook, grabbed me by the arm, 
and almost yanked me. I had about 50 pounds of weight on that thing. I almost went overboard. Oh, no. Mm. I'm just thinking about how bad that hurts when a hook oh, pops well, out of something and gets in I you. just took my knife out and cut the line. And, Ooh. Oh, hey. It's bad. It's a good thing Phil wasn't there. If it stuck you, Phil would just made a. Be able to cut uh, your arm off to get the hook uh, out. Uh, like, and what like you do is you make the mountain. Make the mountain. Yeah, make the mountain. And cut the bottom of it off. Cut the top of the mountain off. Yeah. Cut the top of it off. That is not the correct way to do that. <laughs> well, hey, that's what he's doing to a buddy of his. Uh, he yeah. stuck him with a it was a, uh, a devil horse. <laughs> and it stuck him right up here. Mm. And all, in his uh, head? Uh, yeah. I thought did. it was in the back of somebody's hand. Uh, oh, no, it was right there oh, on the it head. Was right no, 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 no. This, Look, this story is the I, back of his hand. No, it it's his hand. This was not a hand. This was in his head. And all Phil did was said, hey, hold up. Uh, be still. Just, he lifted it up. Make a mountain. Make a mountain. Cut, cut the top, top of the mountain off. Cut the top yeah, that, of guy, that guy still got that scar. Oh, no, he does. It's white spot. People look at him funny. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah. He, he ought to get Phil to sign. Uh, that was a fun little fishing trip, folks. Well, I enjoyed myself. <laughs> good fences do make good neighbors. That's right. And you want live growing fences. There you go. Not dead fences. Not you want live fences. wood fences. Not dead wood. That's why our friends over at fastgrowingtrees.com can help you get instant privacy. That's right. Live tree. That only keeps getting more private. Yeah. That's as right. it fastly like grows. The bigger they get, the better it gets. Do they grow go. fast? Uh, they grow fast. Very apt. Apropos name at fastgrowingtrees.com. You want to know why? Did you forget how to say appropriate? <laughs> I was I couldn't remember the word. Apropos a word, maybe. No, it is. That's yeah. not. It might not be. But it's because they do a bunch of science biology stuff like Martin, and they tell you exactly what trees are good for you. That's why they grow so fast. They do. And the cool thing is, like, forget about them growing fast and all that. You go to the nursery, it be overwhelming. You don't know if that thing's going to make it. They'll tell you if it makes it, and you're going to save so much money over paying a landscaper to do it they'll help you with design you can get the plants shipped straight to your house you can figure it out you can plant them yourself look type in what you want they got you you want lemon trees they'll let you know if they grow their lime trees got figs they got them all so evergreen shrubs just pretty flowers you know april showers bring may flowers that's where we're at so they have everything you need and so much more. So whether you, whatever you're interested in, find the perfect fit for your climate and space. Fast Growing Trees makes it easy to order online and your plants are shipped directly to your door in one to two days. And they got a 30-day alive and thrive guarantee. They offer free plant consultation forever. There you go. And see, like I got that satsuma still growing. The persimmons are thriving. It has been a wet spring. This spring, they have the best deals online up to half off on select plants and other deals. And listeners to our show get an additional 15% off their first purchase when using the code DUCK at checkout. That's an additional 15% off at uh. FastGrowingTrees.com using the code DUCK at checkout. FastGrowingTrees.com code DUCK. Offer is valid for a limited time. Tell them we sent you. Well, there ain't nothing more fun having uh, a big catfish on the trot line. Mm. We used to do it when we didn't have a boat, throw lines. A uh, 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 one-pound brim, pretty good time, too. Oh, no, f- try a 40-pound lop. Y'all was gar commanders before Instagram was a thing. Hey, guard. Oh, we used to catch everything. Mm-hmm. So them boys still do. Has there ever been anything you said, I, we should put this back? Oh, I, I didn't like gar. All I did was them, hey, because I had a boat paddling, and oh. I broke a mini on popping them on the head, breaking their neck, <laughs> throwing them back in the river. <laughs> The Gar Commander. <laughs> uh, oh, I remember the first time I ever saw that. My dad caught a gar on Shinny Lake. Boy, don't they make you mad. It was small, and he was mad, and I was like, what's, what's the matter, Dad? You caught a fish. And he went, and I thought he was using the pliers to get the hook out. Oh. Them pliers did something else to that fish next and made a noise I hadn't heard as yeah. a young child, and I said, what'd you do that for? He goes, I hate that fish, and he threw it in the water. Oh, I, was, hey. I said, ooh. Oh, Phil, Phil had a, oh, what was it? I think of the iron pipe <laughs> when he when he was running commercial nets, and there was some that when he'd get them up like that, all he'd do is pick it up and pow, you'd hear you'd hear crack, and garden, and he'd throw, then throw it back in the river. <laughs> he hated them too. Hey, worms got. You imagine, could you imagine going down the river and seeing Phil Robertson with a? I'm talking about a young Phil with a metal pipe in his hand. Oh no, uh, buddy, you want to talk about get away from air as fast? Yeah, as I, oh, could. I was like, yeah, I'm I, talking about. I would have like, turned the other way. Oh, hey, 
Oh, yeah, big old snapping turtle. Hey, here's what got me. Well, that's all okay. Right, People used to steal fish out of his nets. Y'all, you know, how would you like, you, you're you messing with a man's nets, and he pulls up with a shotgun. And it's Phil? And it's Phil. Yo, know, I, I, I just couldn't believe they did it, especially after that he'd called them and then he'd catch them again. I still don't like delivering bad news to Phil, and I've known him for 20 years now. No, no. <laughs> Well, I come home one time on leave, and I said, well, I said, you wrote me a letter saying that you, uh, you're you trying something else. Oh, that's a good one. I, I almost ran over him the other day. That's a good one there, yeah. Where's he going? He's going to that Mayhall Grove at the dog. Oh. <laughs> Water's running across the road. Oh, hey, he'll eat them, he'll eat them things, too, whatever's left. Well, that thing's shell was this white. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, hey, we caught one, man. Phil caught one on the trolley line of 75 pounds. And it's not near big as this table. Yeah. This thing I mean, a dinosaur. That thing is what, 100 years old? Probably? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. That's a big one. That's a big common snapper. That one right there is the one that if you grab him by the back of his shell, he's going to turn around and take a plug out of you. Yeah. Oh, no. He can turn that head all the way oh, around, no. buddy. Yeah. I'm talking about take a plug out of you. <laughs> yeah. Them boys are dangerous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have a development. Uh oh, what happened? Was it his twin? Is that what my we're dad's at? now talked to the twin brother six times. Yeah. <laughs> but the real is at a great place called Toledo Tackle, which is the other tackle shop in town. No, see, that's why you don't take him down. See? <laughs> he, like, re he, re he returned it to the wrong store. That's, oh, he done that. You know why? Because he stole from them, too. Yeah. And he can't remember what's what. Yeah. They just ain't posted yeah. about him. Get yet. him, Nick. Take him down. I hope Nick takes him down. That's <laughs> funny. See? That's well, funny. I guess I'm going over to my friend Nick's store to lead a tackle yeah, after get, this. I'll pick up wrong, my right? reel and we'll real, try and figure out how to back. stop everybody from stealing. You want to break the cycle of stupidity, you don't take that post down. Just remind him every day when he gets on Honey Hole Tackle Shop because he's going to go look. Oh, he's going to look. Well, let me finish my story. Yeah, yeah, no, you're good. Now, now, when was, Phil was catching them with the nets, carrying them with a shotgun. Mm-hmm. You'd have figured that would have stopped him. No, nope. so he wrote me a letter and said, hey, look, I tried something new on my the people stealing fish out of my net. So I got home there, come in and leave, stay with him. I said, well, well, tell me the story. He said, you're not going to believe it. You know the verse that says, hey, God's way is always the best? Mm -hmm. He said, he's right. And I said, what are you talking about? He said, hey, ever since I stopped them, you know, and when I kept, I would catch them, I would say, okay, it looks like somebody's having a fish fry. How many people you got coming? Well, then he would give them like 20 fish. And he said, because, hey, I'm telling you, when you start sticking the grease up, you know, you had 12 supposed to come. Well, 20 is going to show up or 25. Yeah. He said, so he just kept throwing fish. Well, they quit. Because he just told me, he said, hey, look, I don't mind you getting the fish, really. He said, but here's the thing. When you put my nest back, they're not fishing. Yeah, you so, tear hey, it up. Next time, come to the house, knock on my door. I'll come run the net, get the fish out, put it back where it's fishing. And then you go on your merry way and have your your, your fish fry. They stopped. Yeah. All they the stopped. danger, all the danger left it. Yeah, they stopped all together. Yeah. Didn't, didn't steal no more. Yeah. Which pretty so wild. are you saying Johnny D should give that old boy that reel? No. <laughs> you heard Johnny D's reply on that, didn't you? Hold on, I'll tell no, you. I'm just kidding. I just he can have that reel and that rod. Hold on, let me figure. Like, what you gonna charge him, JD? Yeah, plus tax. That's eleven percent. Two forty one ninety eight, and it's all his. Right. Two forty one ninety eight. He, he went it, after dude. a premium. Yeah, he did. You <laughs> walk out of there free and clear, and you get to. I'll even throw in the rod. <laughs> Oh, great deal. Give you the rod. Hey, you can keep the zip tie on. <laughs> yeah, and keep the zip tie on both the rod and the reel. <laughs> Dad. My dad just said he's still going with the twin brother stories. All he knows. Oh, <laughs> oh wow! Oh. Thieves, man. Oh, Exodus boy. says something about it. <laughs> anyway, don't do it. Oh man! You ever stole anything? No. 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 Not a thief. No. Not a thief. Not um. No. Not even BC. Just not, not a, it's, it's, that's a dirty one. Yeah, just not a thief. Just taking man. other people's stuff. I've torn up other people's stuff. Yeah. Never oh, no, I'll stuff. break it. <laughs> I'll break it. But I'll also pay to fix it. I ain't one yeah. of them guys either. I'm like, well, yeah, I tore that up, man. Just send me the bill. My bad. Like, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. What, stealing something? Yeah. Yeah, no. I'm way too Church of Christ. 
I mean, the Lord would have a thunderbolt. Well, that's a good. Just you squared good up at me. You got a good heart. I know, but I, well, oh, man, I'm, I'm scared. There. You'd hear an acapella choir. Yeah, uh, yeah. We got to bring back them fear God bumper stickers. <laughs> People all, yeah. People ain't scared no more. You drive by the one on 34 South. What's, they'll let you know what's up. <laughs> what's their sign say? Oh, it changes. <laughs> <laughs> I think, me, I think today it said there's only one. Are you yeah. talking about the apostolic folks right down here? No. Or no. The Church of Christ boys. Yeah, the blue yeah. hairs. Yeah. There's a, well, there's one, there's a Baptist church over. There's about three of them right there past the sit go. I, I pass one morning. every day. It, it signed the other day just said, hell is real. And I was like, ooh, what is it? Yeah. Good reminder. Yeah. What's your feelings about the folks that put it all over their car? What, hell is real? Like, well, there's a better message, but that message is also true. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus has forgiven you and you don't have to go there. That's the message I like to preach. Yeah. Um but mm. if you don't want to hear that one, you might need the hell is real one. I don't know. Yeah. Heaven's real too. It sounds wonderful. Also, Gimber called me today and I, he said if he has the Ark of the Covenant in his yard when he gets to heaven, I can come see it. <laughs> <laughs> you told him about that? No, he listened. Oh, he Somebody listened. Somebody <laughs> told him. Were you here the day we talked about heaven? And I said, I wonder at all the stuff that's going to be in Gimber's mansion's yard. (laughs) He called me today. I said, why is Gimber calling me? That's funny. He called me yesterday, but about something totally different. He needed a favor, shocker. Um, (laughs) He got some friends coming in, needed a tour. (laughs) Like, Uh, Gimber, they can come by here. Who cares, man? Si, how'd you sleep last night? Hey, I slept like a king. You had to have because you got on a new shirt today. So I can appreciate that. Hey, but. Look, hey, for the record, I changed clothes. <laughs> Proud of you. Underwear, socks, which, the whole thing. Which whole means, nine yards. do you know? That's a good <laughs> night's sleep on a pillow. I'm telling you, buddy. Right. <laughs> a good pillow, good sheets. I bet he even washed his robe. Hey, that's it. Probably got some freshly laundered towels. That's right. Of course, we're talking about all the my pillow products that you can find. We're talking about the good stuff at Uncle Si's house and in my house. You know how much you pay for all of it. And if ain't and if ain't at your house, hey, shame on you. Because it's only twenty five dollars because they're having extravaganza. Hey, there's a deal going on right now. Y'all not a deal, Si. The extravaganza, boy. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, twenty five dollars. Everything is going for twenty five bucks. Yeah. Do you mean the sandals? Hey, sandals. Twenty five dollars. Six no. pack towels. Twenty five dollars. Dish towels. Yeah. Four pack of dish towels. Twenty five dollars. Yeah. The premium my pillows. Whatever all it new is. Giza fabric. Any size. Any loft. Hey. Any level. Even all king. of it has got to go. Twenty five dollars. Wow. There you go. Look. Mike and them said, you know what? Big box stores may cancel us, whatever. We don't care. We still going to pass our savings on to the we customer. Still Welcome to, to the internet. And look, right. you feel, when you get it, you feel like you've won. Because once you get it, and you're like, I only pay $25 for that, you're like, That's oh, fantastic. man. Oh, yeah. it, it, it's yeah. unbelievable. He is bringing alive the great indoors. There is no doubt about that. And they got stuff for everything you need. They got dog beds. They, I mean, you name it for your house, they have got it. Boom. Yeah. So, look. Carl, he's an entrepreneur. He is, and I he's got a okay. sweet mustache, and he's a yeah. he's an American. So you can you trust. Know. Thank man. you. <laughs> it's here in America, Jack. <laughs> well, look, this amazing offer won't last long, so order now. Just go to mypillow.com slash doc and enter promo code doc or call 800-969-3137. When you do, you will get free shipping on orders over seventy five dollars today. Go to mypillow.com slash duck and enter promo code duck or call 800-969-3137. Take advantage of the $25. Oh, Mama K moved out. Uh Uh-oh. She gone? She's been gone two days. Y'all honeymooning again. Oh, yeah. Look out now. They got my TV back. (laughs) <laughs> Got his TV and recliner, back. recliner back. Be honest, are you still watching CSI Hawaii? No, I, oh, hey. I didn't know, or whatever it is, NCIS. Well, I don't. They got too many of them letter shows. Up she there. actually did improve some, and and her mobility is a little bit better. So she's back she, down at her house. She wanted to go go try it. So. That's awesome. Well, that's she, good. She's news. making it. She's making it. So <laughs> I wonder what she said when she walked in there. I'm sure Phil had to play spotless. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah! Oh, it was. Yeah, she ain't oh, been yeah. there. <laughs> Field oh, oh, oh. You don't? Did I? Did I, did I tell you what happened? Oh yeah! I mean, I knew they cleaned everything out. Me and Anna and 
and Willie and Corey and Diego and Veronica went down there and gutted that house <laughs> so she can get around with a walker. So, so you can actually walk in the oh, house yeah. now? Oh, yeah. Half the furniture is gone. Oh, okay. All right. All of her stuff that was piled up is gone. Yeah, cause yeah she time, didn't like it. Yeah, I was about to say, is she angry? Every time I went down there, yeah. I would bump in and knock over something. Oh, yeah. Because they was moved. It's, it was something else there. Like walking around the honey hole. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was, I yeah you don't it. walk. You, you know, you got to pick where you're going to go when you go in there. You got 10 uh, gallons we, of stuff. That's why I peed off the porch. You couldn't make it back here to the gas bathroom. No. <laughs> 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 oh, that, oh, we gutted that thing. I mean, and so far, so good. I mean, we, it had to happen. It did. Well, and yeah. they had, uh, what? A uh, eight year run where everybody on America was sending them a new present every day. Oh yeah, I didn't know how to handle a lot of that when I was yeah. opening Willie's mail. Sorry and for all of it that just disappeared. That's why my wife has been doing what she's been doing. And then let's not forget, Kate has discovered Amazon. So. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, has she? <laughs> That's part of the problem. Yeah. Yeah. No. And look, they think I had that same struggle. <laughs> If you can't get it, you can get it through Amazon, baby. Uh, it's a. It's my a, wife figured that out too. Man alive! <laughs> yeah, I have a problem. <laughs> if it's on Amazon, you can just get it. It shows up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then look, they, they show up they, every day get too. It quickly, every day. It's yeah, not as quick no as it waiting used to be. time. No, they they fooled us back in the day with Prime, and now we still pay for it, and it ain't no different if you just order standard shipping. Is it not? It don't seem to be. Well, I'll have to get rocket money on that. The only thing you get out of that now is movie and TVs. What? Movies, TV, and music on Amazon Prime. Ah, it's, there's too many things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'll be different by tomorrow. Probably. John D., I do have a proposition for you. I've got some unreleased fishing baits. I mean, what do we do? Are we going to get in trouble? Well, not if nobody knows. Well, you just said it to a... Well, I understand that. I mean, but... we're the number two leisure podcast. We might be number four now. Man. What are we going to do with them? Well, hopefully not let somebody walk out of them with their britches. But, um, well, that's a dangerous thought. But we could sell them for whatever we wanted to. We ain't got to tell nobody you got them. You just, you, we're going to have to like get like a back room section. A back room? At the honey hole. Yeah, be like, all right, this is where all the high end stuff is. Yeah. Like a champagne special, room, special. if you will. My mom's that's what, what, room. That's what eBay's for. What eBay. is eBay? The, let the bidding begin. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Hmm. That woman sold everything on eBay. Tell Jan I'd like to request a meeting. Uh, we got. It. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Jan. Apparently, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I did. I got a box full of them yesterday. So yeah. Well, well you can be the first one in town, and nobody unreleased. Martin, unreleased, got unreleased fishing bait. That's Is right. that how they did back in the day, Si? Uh, did you ever need an unreleased fishing bait, or could you catch no, them on? No. You, and I bet you, Si, could still catch them on the same thing you used back then. I can't. We all can. Look, you talking about the guy, I ain't kidding now. Growing up, I, my grandparents took me fishing every chance they got. And my grandma would sit in the back of that boat, life jacket on, she's scared to death to end up in the water. <laughs> Never took it off. And I ain't talking about like these new thin ones that you got now. I'm talking uh, about big nasty. Well, yeah. yeah. Like, well, I'm not a well, fan of ending up in Like the where the Yeti it's zippers like, originated. It's like your best hunting coat. Yeah, I'm talking about like where them Yeti zippers originated. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Getting it up, and she's sitting yeah. back there. And she beat the brakes off of me and Papa both. She's sitting in the back, last one to get to him. We all using the same color. Something about that woman. She just, get the net. Get the net. Get the net. Get the net. Presentation. Me, I'm you. just down there eating Little Debbie's and drinking fish lime Cokes. Hold you on. Because we only have one ice chest. We didn't dare have two. <laughs> Like you, you dug through, you dug through the fish to get to your cold drink down there, and you're like, "Boy, it's gonna be good." Wipe and you, the top off. Uh, you got that slobber all over. You got that slime all over your face. Oh and, yeah, I saw him yeah. get the ice out of the fish ice chest and put it in his tea glass. Oh yeah, hey. or that. Well, you tea. Sometimes ice. you got to no, have it. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. You got to have ice. Yeah. Yeah. You've done about. that. Oh, I, hey. I oh can, he did it. I can be behind this. It happens, and you can clean the top off. You have used the ice from the fish ice chest. Oh, yeah, he did it for your tea. Yeah, look, let me tell you something. I run out of ice. Hey, I won't have ice, buddy. We were so broke. You know what we'd use for our ice and ice chest? Old two liter Coke bottles. Oh yeah, yeah. fill them full of water, throw them in the freezer. Hey, that was our ice. Done, he lasted a long before, time before yeah. he got rid of his boat. Yeah, <laughs> every time we'd go fishing, he'd go in the freezer and 
Yeah. All them bottles, frozen bottles in there. Oh, I, I in. still use them gallon milk jugs oh, for yeah. ice during the summertime mm-hmm. for all that stuff because it, it'll stay, that big block seems to stay better than a little cube. Oh, oh no. Yeah. But, that's why I hate, that's why I hate uh, uh, Sonic Ice. That little bitty junk ain't no good. Blasphemy. <laughs> you don't eat ice. You don't eat ice good. then, do you? Heresy. Yeah. Right. No, I mean, good. good ice. Real ice. You like that big old blocks ice? Oh, hey, yeah. Yeah, but that hurts your tooth, man. Hey, hey, no. I got to eat that ice. No. I like all forms of ice. I do, too. I That's why like America's ice. better than Europe. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hands Europe down. Don't, Europe don't like ice, period. We're, like, y'all are neat and all over there. You got some cool things that are weird, but y'all's, like, just hatred for ice is dumb. I don't know what they got against salt and black pepper, either. Well, well I, you know, that's different strokes for different folks, but no. ice is just purely better. I, ice water is yeah. better than just water. water. Yeah. Yeah. Ice tea, better that's than hot significantly tea. Significantly greater than hot oh, yeah. tea. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ice is so good that people put it in their coffee now, which doesn't even make any sense. Hey, God knows that. That's why spring water is ice cold. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Weller. Uh, and I mean ice cold. Ice cold. cold. <laughs> Weller needs an ice cube, what right. you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I just don't get why people wouldn't want ice. Oh, no. Hey. I'm thinking about getting an industrial ice machine. Ice machines are expensive. One they are expensive. Oh, I, you know. get you I one priced one to put in my garage because of all the square, fishing and square hunting. Box. And who? Get you one of them and make just a little square box. I got one. Nice. Uh, you mean an ice tray? Like a tray? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. Cool yeah but this is not a normal ice tray. Oh, like the big ones? A big square box. You've been hanging out at too many bars. Right, well, I'm just saying, hey. I got one. Uh, <laughs> well, you got your Yeti, and you get like six of them things. You, this, that thing gonna last you a couple days in the summer. Speaking of Europeans, you got an email. I got an email from Germany, where there's no ice for unknown reasons. Uh, they don't like it. I'm gonna try and read this. It's gonna be difficult, but uh, is it in German? This is from Jake. He said, "Waldman Schiel." I don't know. That's my best. That's a traditional hunting greeting. Do you know this? Huh? Do you know that? No. All right. Long time off and on listener. You know, he's a busy guy. Do us a favor. You put it up there real quick. What? The word? Yeah, I always kind of want to see it. I don't want you to have to spell it. Okay. Weidmann Shield. I don't know. I never Wide, 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 but replace W with a V. See? Weid. And And I just do that. Weidmann's. File. Yeah. Weidman's file. Weidman's Heil. Weidman's Heil. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. There you go. All right. Anyway, you learn something new every that's day. That's close. That's close. Weidman's Heil. Okay. Last week, he was part of the latest class of the American military to receive their, do you know what that says? Yes, they're, Jogged, they're, but. They're hunter, Jogschein E. But why instead of. It's yeah. a German hunting certificate. Okay. So you know how Sy always did that. Yeah. Well, and we got a picture. This is what Cy was doing back then. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's your hat, Cy. I actually taught in in Swabrook, and I taught that class. Did you? Yeah. Did you have to wear them britches? Yeah. Really? (laughs) I've got the, uh, I don't even know. I call them Nickenbuckers. Yeah. Okay, but I had had one of them. Okay. The good ones, the expensive ones, okay, I had the cheap ones. The good ones are made out of leather. Them britches? Yeah. Really? They are hot. I was about to say, oh, hey, they're comfortable. That's why you don't have no hair on your legs. Oh, you wore no, no. leather com- pants. My hat's off to the one, two, two females. Oh, that's kind of oh, cool. Oh, no. There's a lot of women, honey. Yeah, that's cool, man. In the Germany. And hey, look, there's Cy. Yeah. Where? This guy? <laughs> oh, I didn't mean, but hey. No, that's after I, a couple of say, that, black <laughs> walnut. I was about to say, that looked more like me back here in the back. J.J. <laughs> Watts in this picture. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah. he sent this because, A, he got the certificate, but he he just wanted to say thanks to you and Stone for y'all's service, and he loves hearing your stories about hunting in Germany because oh. apparently that's a thing. Oh, no, oh. I had a blast over. That's cool. Uh, Va- I never killed I, see, a pig. Now I don't forget it. Weidmannstein. I shot it, son, but I never killed said. one. Uh, Weidmannstein? Yeah. Deal? There you go. I, I don't blew know. a hoof off. I feel like I cussed <laughs> every one shot. of our. Because I had a rifle, didn't have a good scope. Can you, uh, sorry, what? <laughs> Tell that story again? He's blowing I, up. I hunted pig a number, numerous times. <laughs> I never killed one. I blew one's hoof off. I missed another one. You know, 
But the wild thing about it was, is okay, yeah. I'm sitting in this little bitty, not a high seat. This one's like three foot off the ground. You know, and I'm sitting there, and it's dark, and it's cloud cover coming through every once in a while. And when the moon would get clear of the cloud cover, you could see everything. You know, then you see pigs everywhere. You know, so I'm sitting there, and I look, and one runs out there, grabs an apple off a stump, and the next thing, he runs under, right directly under me, and I can hear him eating eat an apple. You know, <laughs> I'm going, good, great. So he runs out there again, and look, there are 60 pigs in this field in front of me. And some of them, all 350 to 800 pounds. Okay. That's, a, look, that's a lot. Okay. Oh, it's quite a no, big and look, And then what well. it is, a cutover. <laughs> Okay, because they got a bunch of stumps, and they've got food pouring on them stumps. Well, there would be pigs on every stump eating, and then it was like a, a quarterback would call the play, and then they'd all run around and get on different stumps. So the whole, for the first hour, <laughs> I seen one that weighed about 350, and the guy said, hey, shoot one about 300, 350. I said, okay. So I finally find one, and I'm just about in the hey, Quarterback gives a signal, they run and get on up. Well, it would take me 30 minutes to find him again. You know, because it was all too big. Well, I finally found him. Well, I got, I ain't got a, uh, a Zeiss scope. Okay, I got a cheapie. Well, I can't see that good. A cheapie. Okay, so I, the best, I said, yeah, that's the 300 pounder. Yeah, I can see him. Yeah, boom. You know, well, as soon as I boom with a 30 out 6, I'm blind because it's shot a. It shot fire 20 feet out from that barrel. So I'm blind as a bull bat. The guy comes up and he said, well, I heard you shoot. You get him? And I said, Whip well, you know, so we go out there and look. And he said, no. Nope. And he picks up the hoof. I, I literally blew the hoof off, off of that pig's leg, front leg. You make a keychain out of it? No. No, I, told him I just wonder if people do it with rabbit's feet. I didn't know if it's the same. Well, I never kill one. They pickle pig's feet. Oh, yeah, well, they I sell did. them at the I, gas I, station. I, I, I'm, I'm incorrect. I did kill a little bitty one, okay, when we was uh, uh, had the whole hunt going, dogs was chasing them. How little? Huh? Weighed about 30 pounds. Four or five people had already shot at him, and one of them had nicked him. I nicked me a census yeah. man. No, so he was already shot, but hey. He was still running. He slowed him down for and the height. Oh, no. I stopped him. When I popped him, he dropped. Yeah. Boy, it doesn't well, sound got, like it's I fun to be a pig the, in Germany. I got part of the credit for that little bitty one. I, I give you full credit. Uh, well, hey, he was still running when I shot him. No, the person that draws first blood gets full credit. Oh, no, that's, that's it. Hey, he, that he, thing was going to get away. You don't know that. And Hey, not only that, and then I had to clean the stupid thing for him. In the basement of his apartment. No, I, no, I cleaned that out in the field. And then the Weidenstein Policia showed uh, up and didn't have no eye. eyes. Polizai, Polizai. Polizai? Yeah, Polizai. What else you got in there? We done went down a road. Uh, well, we I like a that. German road. Hey. Oh, um, wow. You know how we invited Charles Barkley? Mm-hmm. So he Charles, coming? Charles has accepted. Charles Barksley from North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't, that ain't Could Charles. you imagine being that's, named Charles that ain't Barksley? Original. That ain't that's, original. That's his real name. I know, but that ain't original. How's that not original? Chuck ain't, hey, it ain't but one Chuck, baby. Oh. I mean, that's true. <laughs> but can you imagine, this guy's like, I'll gladly come on the podcast. Well, you're probably not as funny as Sir Charles. You're just that's regular that. Charles that's Bargsley that. from North Carolina. Could you imagine having the name Charles Bargsley growing up? Well, hey, there you go. Chuck. Hey, can't dunk. <laughs> no, can't I don't know dunk. what it looks like. I'm just know. guessing. Can you dunk, sir? <laughs> That is the next question. Anyway, Stretch emails in. Nope, that's just his weird email address. Tyler uh -oh. of Chatsworth, Georgia. <laughs> Stretch. All right, what we got? You putting it up there? Johnny D, you are a genius. The title is Pizza and Makeout. Thank you, sir. Uh-oh. He tried it, and her reply was sure. Okay, hey. My protégés are learning how to actually talk to women. So did he, did he have pizza or did he make out? I think he did both. Oh, I'm proud to pizza, know you, Tyler. I'll make out. All right, you want a heavy one? This one's tough. Yeah, go it ahead. It might not be it's tough. Fire away. Amanda needs dog advice. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. I know. We're going down that road. Um, 
dog named Lizzie. Why are you laughing? She adopted a dog. It's about a year and a half old. She recently got married. Life's changing. That that dog's nuts. <laughs> uh-huh. Side, don't tell you what your opinion is. No, this woman aren't. loves the dogs, but the dogs. She's done with the dog. <laughs> All the options she has sucks. Since we got her from the pound, they got to take her back to the or humane society. I think that's just a fancy Georgia term for pound or something. Um, that's where she got to bring her back. It's in the contract you sign when you take the dog. But she wants to rehome her, but she doesn't know what'll work. How, how does she get this dog to behave? Send it to a trainer. Send, yeah. Hire well, somebody to train it. Yeah. That's it? That's yeah. the easy answer? Yeah. All right, hire somebody. If you can't do it, Hire somebody to do Yeah, it's obvious she doesn't have the skill set yeah. for it. Yeah. Well, then there's two dogs, too. So there's. Does she say what the dog is doing? It's biting people oh. or the other dog steals toys. There's just a lot of dogs in this house to me. Curly's top dog.com. Yeah. <laughs> He's if, good at it. If Curly can't get it out of him, nobody it ain't It ain't meant to get out of him. That's right. It can't be done. Yeah. You, so you think just try training it first, and then if it, if it can't yeah. work, it can't work. Most all dogs are looking for the alpha. Curly's and if not, they they assume that they are the alpha over you, then they act like that one's acting right there. That was with that whole show on Animal Planet was about with the weird guy. Oh, I don't know about that, but he I'm was just always saying, talking about who the alpha is. Well, yeah. I mean, but it's the same as with your kids or anything else. Who's the alpha in the family? Who runs Who runs the show? Do the kids run the show or do, do mom runs and dad? The show? That's, that's the deal. You know, alpha males, alpha females, which is what you have to be to that dog if you want them to fall in line. My dog was terrible, so I'm not the one to give advice. Your dog was chill, though. I mean, he barked a lot. Well, now, hey. That Edward Scissorhands people, look, toenails. But there's like, just some people that are not dog, dog people. Yeah. Jason Roberts is one of them. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, I used to love watching him work him dogs. No, no. Well, I'm just saying. You know, some people you ain't ever seen a dog more confused than. Oh, no, no. Life. That's what I'm saying. Hey, some people are not meant to have dogs. That's yeah. right. Okay, but it sounds like the other one's person. thriving. So. Well, but the other one came from the husband. They've only been married a month, and now we've combined. The man has left his parents. They two have become one, and they both came with dogs. Yeah, they brought their kids with them. And hey, they're having dogs. Yet. That's tough. You yeah. have you seen Jace work a dog? Huh. You know, you seen a good dog handler go back? Yeah, over. Jace said, "Go back there to that willow tree and take a right." Yeah, <laughs> go about two hundred yards. Yeah, he'll yeah, be down yeah. there on the left. I think he got under that brush top. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. No, you got. Look, in, in, the, in the boy's defense, no, no, in the boy's defense, he should not try to be a dog handler. No. Okay. He'd throw that whistle like Who, Jace? Look, yeah, because Jace has been the dog all his life. Oh, yeah. Okay, he's so he's better, at their, he's better at the job than they are. Yeah. That's his problem. He's no, just I'm not as dog. fast. Okay, he's just not as fast. I have an email that right. I haven't seen. But I would say this. Is it stored? While you're looking for that for her, look. You made a commitment to the dog, too, when you signed the adoption paper. So give it every chance to succeed. Send it to a trainer. See what happens. Oh, all right. Don't be too quick to give up. Yeah. A lot of changes in that dog's life, too. He may just be acting out because y'all moved houses or, you know, all the things. Did you say what kind of dog? It is? I'm a dog guy. A mutt. So like, yeah. Well, mutt, I'm not a dog person. Mutts are generally I'm the, the wrong person to ask Most this people are not. Yeah, mutts are generally the best dogs anyway. I had a dog for a long time, and I miss him. Yeah, most yeah. people I haven't got dog. another. Don't get one of them doodle dogs. <laughs> All right, Andrew actually emailed in, or his dad emailed in for Andrew. Andrew's 10, and he wrote a story for Cy. Okay. Uh-oh. I'm going to read the whole story. Yeah. I haven't read this. Uh-oh. Beth just sent this to me, and I'm on pins and needles. The Black Panther of Mifflinville? maybe okay it was a warm humid night the house was quiet and dark andrew was sound asleep in his bed suddenly he hears screaming loud chicken noises and he wakes up he runs into the living room and grabs his shotgun he thinks something is going to eat his chickens andrew walks outside and he hears growling from right beside the chicken coop the yard was very dark and terrifying the sky was dark blue without any moon he walks confidently to the chicken coop he sees a black panther with green glowing eyes the panther turns around and andrew sets his gun down It's easy to shoot a panther with a gun. He's going to fight it with his bare hands. 
I love this kid. He goes over very nervously and grabs hold of the panther's tail and swings it around his head and throws it into his shed. The panther starts running towards Andrew very fast. It bites his arm off. <laughs> Andrew, I got this kid named Carter. Y'all got to hang out sometimes. Where is he from? Where is he from? I'm not sure. Okay. Andrew grabs his sharp deer knife and stabs it in the back of his head. The panther flops to the ground. Andrew cuts off his head to mount it on the wall. The chickens are safe. In scene. I think hey, this kid's like Dr. Seuss made over. I think Andrew watched Walker, Texas Ranger before he oh, went to bed. Right. <laughs> that sounds like something Chuck used to get into. That kid, that kid rules. He's been drinking that sea hey, force. The bottom line of this story yeah. is a good guy always wins. Again and again. Does it say where what state he lives in? <laughs> We're not sure. Probably but Mississippi. Alabama. Oh, boy. I, somebody that'll fight a Black Panther. I'm going with West Virginia. I'm going with North Carolina. All right. Dad of Andrew, please let us know where you're from. <laughs> but I guarantee you they got a college football team. We enjoyed team. the story, sir. The sad that, thing, he's going to yeah. say ears. Yeah, we enjoyed the story. <laughs> oh, boy. Chatham. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that was phenomenal. <laughs> and I need to know Andrew more. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, him and Carter would be a better Yeah, that story was only missing a flamethrower. Um, and a president. <laughs> And a, and a Segway. <laughs> Do you know the owner of Segway died by falling off a Segway? Of course. Bad call. Of course he did. Learned about that recently. Well, anyway. I, I'm sure the Secret Service snuffed him out. Genesis 27.3 <laughs> from Jake from Vanderswell, uh, Germany. Now then get... I've said so many wrong German words. Genesis 27.3. Now then get your equipment, your quiver and bow, and go out to the open country to hunt some wild game for me. Maybe some back of meat. Jagdenstein. <laughs> I can't do it. I don't know. We'll see y'all next time. Yeah, we're out. <laughs>